And here's tonight's first potential fooler. Magic is my second career. I was a graphic artist first, which is also about creating other realities. In those days, magic was my hobby. Then I got an internship on a TV show and I became fascinated by how cameras and editing can build a world. So I went back to school to study filmmaking. It was very expensive, so I supported myself with magic. And a funny thing happened. My magic got bigger and bigger. Personal appearances became stage shows. I realized I could combine everything in a theater. Graphics, cinema, storytelling and magic. And when I put all these things together, I finally knew what I wanted to be. I love being a magician because I can build my life around play. You never have to grow up. As a kid, I would put on shows in my backyard and charge the neighborhood kids a fee. My dad passed away when I was 17, so all he ever saw was my backyard magic. When I perform, like I will tonight, using skills dad never got to see, I like to imagine he's watching me. Who knows? Maybe he is. All the way from Germany, say bitte willkommen to Mello. Hi, Penn. Hello, Teller. <laughs> Magicians are often accused of using camera tricks to make their magic happen. Well, I admit, what you are about to see is a camera trick, because it is a trick with a camera. Outside of the magical world, there is nothing that comes as close to magic as Polaroids. You press the shutter button, and a complete blank picture pops out. Then if you wait a minute, the image appears. Before the smartphone, this is how memories were captured instantly. For example... <laughs> this one. This is me, as a kid, sitting in a bathtub with a lot of bubbles. Okay, way too much bubbles. Give me a second. I've got lots of these pictures, like this one, <laughs> my money shot. If I ever need it, I can get cash back at any time, even now. <laughs> and these are my parents' wedding photos. I know it sounds crazy, but I couldn't find a photo with both of them together in one picture. Maybe we can fix that. I brought some more pictures with me and I want to share them with this volunteer. Please come on stage. Hi. Please take a seat. What's your name? Maren. Maren. And we've said nothing up in advance, right? Correct. Okay. Please reach into the basket and mix up the pictures. Look through all these photographs and you'll see they're all different moments, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Please select a photo that is face down and hold it against your chest so I can't see which moment of my life you chose. Okay. Okay. Secretly, for the very first time, take a look at the picture and try to remember everything in detail. Then hold it close to your body again. Maren, imagine an invisible big blank photo right in front of us. Try to project the picture you have in your mind clearly onto the blank photo. And let's see if I take a real photo of it. Here is the picture that just came out of my magical camera. I hold it out here while it develops. <laughs> so, out of that basket of tons of different photos, would you please show us which photo you randomly selected? <laughs> My first day of school. Very great memory. I think, yeah, we had enough time for the new picture to develop and amazingly, it is the exact same picture <laughs> you chose. This is the magic of Polaroids. 
every time you take a look at the picture like this, it's like having a glimpse of the feeling we had right in the moment when it was taken. Definitely no camera tricks are needed for this. Just a lot of imagination and a little bit of magic. Hi, Alison. Hi. Why do they call you Mellow? Um, I think it describes my personality and my style of magic. Cool. So you started magic very young. Yeah, I started magic at a very young age. Uh, before this, I was in a circus school and learned juggling. And later I found out that magic is another way to impress and amaze people with also physical movements. Yeah. Oh, cool. What kind of obstacles did you face when you got started? Oh, I was a very shy person as a kid. <laughs> so it was very hard for me to perform in front of other people. But magic helped me to express myself and make me yeah, more confident. How is the magic community in Germany? Um, the magic community is uh, very, very great, but the audience is um, a very hard one. Oh, <laughs> They why? are less enthusiastic and it's... Um, very difficult to get emotions and uh, visible reactions from the German audience. So you don't really actually know if a German audience likes your magic or not? Yeah, yeah, they sit and, and watch the act and um, yeah, a nice applause. And after the show, they came to you and say, the best I ever see. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see if the memory you made tonight includes a trophy. Hey, Mello, boy, what a nice routine. Really good. You know, um, thank uh, you. Polaroid cameras, instant cameras, uh, were so magical, you know, in a, in a strange way, so much more magical than our smartphones we all carry around. It's just that thing being spit out and developing in front of us was just so beautiful. And you've taken that and used it like a, uh, like a witch's spell. You've taken something out of the past and really gotten all the magic out of it. And uh, those transformations yeah. at the top look just beautiful. They just really look beautiful and they really Thank follow you. the idea. <laughs> and uh, you just have so much charm. And, uh, and then the thing at the end, was really great, and uh, I know you'd like to know whether you fooled us or not, and um, so would we. Uh, this was right, it's a really tough call for us. We are gonna go to the judges, and they're gonna decide whether we were fooled or not, and whatever they say goes for us. So, uh, Allison, it's to you. All right, I'm talking to the judges. They said this was a really tough decision for them too. But at the end of the day, you did not fool them. It was so good. Oh. But it so was close. Good. Thank you for having me. You didn't fool them, but it was amazing. Bye. Mellow! Thank you very much. Bye.